Hey guys and gals, today we're looking at a 58MXA 120-20, let's check that out, model number carrier uh, gas furnace, this is a this is a training video for all you licensed uh, technicians, 58MXA 120-20. Moss model number series 100. Well, you see, I shut the power off right there. Over there, somewhere, I got a gas valve. I turned off the gas line. Again, this is for licensed people, but just uh, for entertainment purposes to let the general public watch what dust. Alright, so maybe I'm not all that licensed. So this used to go there. It was stuck on with this uh, very sticky gasket material. Um, you can see where somebody, I have no idea who it is, pried that metal down so that they could get a screwdriver and pop that loose. And then uh, I took this out. I put it back in simply to, so my system's not under any stress. I took this out. Um, I kind of put it back in right now, and uh, inside there was this, like these little gas jet structures in there. And the whole idea of this thing was that when I looked through those sight glasses, I did not see an uh, orange flame, I mean an orange burner starting to glow in the cycle of trying to get the gas turned on. And um, so there I, I test, I pull, unplug this little hot surface igniter. You can see it's in pieces right now. And of course it was in infinite ohm so no current would be flowing through there. Um, on the other side of this plug you see I got the, this, the, the uh, voltmeter probe stuck in there. And um, when I held this down, of course with the power and gas on, it did it several minutes of fans blowing and indeed at some point it put about it put 120 volts there for about 30 seconds or so and there's there's this thing that detects if a flame is happening back there that little rod sticking up and um, no flame happened because this did not glow orange I could see no no oranginess glowing in that thing now let me show you where this goes. It's got a little little hole it fits into and, and these little twang or tangy things are what actually holds this thing up into place. And these clips used to be right up against there firmly holding that. I bent them out of the way in an attempt to pull that down. But I just didn't pull quite hard enough. That thing is kind of welded to the rubber gasket here. That little high temperature silicone like coloring. It's kind of stuck through and through from one side to the other. Um, stuck to this little mounting metal uh, frame. But anyways, you can... Let me just slide it back in for uh, our viewer purposes. Well, I'm going to get in there. Oh, there it is. So, and then those little tang, little pieces of bent metal are supposed to... Let me go look what's going on. Pardon the focus. Well, with one hand, it's a bit of a struggle, but you see, it goes there. That's where it goes. Now, how did I get it out? I reached into that little crevice, and with a screwdriver, I wedged it in between the body of the furnace and the orange colored gasket and twisted, and it just popped right out with little trouble at all popped it out. Now this thing was complete however there was a crack right there with me goofing around with it I cracked it off the rest of the way it's pretty brittle stuff and there's my hot surface igniter no longer able to ignite. Now I think the spare part that's going to come in I got it off one of the online companies that sounds something like Smee Bay. 
I happened to get a semi surplus one because this this furnace it looks like it was installed in 1999 February of 99 that must have been a cold month um, yeah so you don't need to take all this off this was just because I I had never done it before none of that needs to be touched you only need to get back first. Uh, you you look if you don't see any. If the problem is no orange flame, and then then you get your code of three dash or you know three short beeps of red on this LED, and four long beeps of LED. That's that code. If you look it up in the manual, means something like no proof of flame. It cannot be proven that there is a flame. So the logic board said, therefore we're shutting down. Uh, I think it does it several times before it shuts down for good. And then you have to cycle the power off and back on again to get it to think it's brand new again. So you don't need to take anything apart. You just, do, I mean, okay, you're not going to take it apart. Your licensed surface technician does not need to bill you to do much complicated stuff more than uh, diagnosing it and yanking this uh, part out. And he'll charge you uh, uh, pretty much a lot of money to get one of these instantly out of his van to, to put back in. However, on Shmeebay it was $16 for a Robert Shaw brand uh, part. Of course, anywhere from 20 bucks or under you can get them for. This particular one from the original manufacturer, it says Norton on it. Norton's probably a very good company as well. I think they made those... Yeah, so this is this is some kind of high temperature metallic ceramic. So there at Norton, I've heard that name for sandpaper. Somehow they're able to have the wherewithal to make these um, gadgets for our American and universal communities. All right, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, proof of flame HSI burned out. Um, getting at it that's how I got at it thanks for watching again for entertainment purposes only